Council on Aging has been around since 1972 and we have been a licensed home care provider for over 30 years. On average, we help about 130 people at any given time on a regular basis with household chores, personal care, errands, providing respite. We want to make sure that the people in our county can stay in their homes for as long as possible and as long as they're safe to do so. Council on Aging has been a God sent blessing to this house. I don't know what I'd do without them. I do not right now. After I've got Carolyn, and I, what would I do? I, I, don't, I don't, I can't even imagine how I would, how I would do without her now. I look forward to Tuesdays and Thursdays, and when she's off one day, it seemed like she's gone for a month. I said, girl, come on in here. You've been gone too long already. <laughs> and it makes me feel good when I leave every day and I know I have done something for them. But I feel that my clients need me to help them to perform what they need to do every day. If I didn't come in and prepare or get them ready for every day, then they would probably still be in the bed. <laughs> if I didn't have help from Council on Aging, I probably would be in some sort of assisted living if I had to move into assisted living, I wouldn't last long. I, I would be very unhappy because I can still do some of the things that I want to do, and that would be more confining than I could take. The things that you do for me enables me to stay at home, in my home. I think the best part of my job is when I see someone who's been um, shut in for a long time and once I go and I walk in that door and they, the big smile comes on their face because I know that they've been there all day and they've not seen anyone or they've been there all week and they've not seen anyone and so when I walk in the door and the big smile comes on their face it, it makes me feel good to know that that little thing just to see somebody just to see see me makes them feel better. We want to help more people, and in order to do that, we are going to need support from new places, from new faces, from new donors. We just want to make sure that all the people that need our services, that they get it and that they get it in time.